Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeam here with a Wi-Fi battle against my boy Amazing Mo VGC. Now, I have face cam on. I've uh, actually decided that I'm going to start doing face cam Wi-Fi battles all well for the most part they're all going to be live commentated if i do post commentary there won't be any face cam i don't find the need for it and i also won't be doing face cam on my showdown lives because i also don't find the need for it but as for wi-fi battles i really uh let me just start deciding these rules i really want to start bringing them back to the channel as well as you know put my face on them because i feel like you get a little bit of an interaction or you get to see the person behind the mic anyway we let's get this nice a single battle, no restrictions. But uh, yeah, I'm actually going to be solely using teams that you guys make for me uh, that I find on my Smogon profile. So this first team is actually made by Br Titar. I actually love his name. It reminded me of Thunderwave Titar. And we'll actually go over the team real quick before uh, anything happens. Oh, it doesn't let me go over the team. But oh, that's the team real quick. But <laughs> that's the team. Uh, we got Focus Ash Aurora Sleed. We have Aurora Veil, um, Sand Slash, Life Orb, Subcom, Mind Kadabra, Belly Drum, Violite Magmar, Choice Scarf Lorances with Defog, and then we have uh, Happy Hour, Z Happy Hour, Malamar. So it should be a really fun offensive game. Uh, if you guys want to check out my opponent, I'll actually leave his link to his Twitter down below. Like I said, Mo is a friend of mine. So uh, yeah, I should definitely be. What do you say? I don't know Weather Wars if I broke one. Uh, it doesn't matter. He said he doesn't know Weather Rules. I don't really care. Uh, so I'm assuming he's bringing some sort of sand. I mean, I have hail, so I don't really care. I also don't know what is necessarily legal. And if this PU battle isn't legal, then it's fine. It's just the first one. I don't mind. It's PU. I'm just having fun. Let's see what we got. He has what? He has Torkoal. I don't think Torkoal is actually... Is Torkoal PU? I don't feel like Torkoal is PU, but I'll check. Torkoal is RU. I, I told him Torkoal is RU, but it's okay. Uh, it's fine. I, I don't really care. I don't, I don't really care. He has a bunch of threats. Alright, so let's think about a game plan. So unfortunately, because he actually has that Torkoal, it's a giant threat to my team. What I want to do is lead off a Magmar. What I want to do is lead off a Magmar and try and weaken that Torkoal immediately. So if I belly drum up, at least I can do some damage. I'll, I'll do like four damage. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna do like four. But at least I'll do a decent amount and potentially try and win with Malamar in the late game. So I'm gonna try that. So we're gonna lead Magmar because he could lead off a Torkoal. Like just straight up, he could lead off a Torkoal. It's fine though. Hey, Barton, are you? Uh, I, I, it's, I, I don't really care. <laughs> I just wanna have fun when I play the game. Hopefully the face cam's in a decent position. I don't, I don't actually know. I'm gonna be looking around at the camera right there. I don't. I'm a really distracted person. Keep that in mind, okay? I'm a really, really, really distracted person. And uh, I do expect me to go crazy. And when I'm looking back, I'm be like, what the hell am I looking at, man? So he's off a Persian. Not too bad. Uh, I should have actually written down his team. I want to go for Belly Drum up turn one, man. Actually, I'm going to Flame Charge first. I'm going to Flame Charge first because if he goes Torkoal... Uh, at least I get the speed boost, which gives me potential to, though I don't threaten Torkoal necessarily, I uh, do a bit of damage. It'd be funny, actually, if you went Torkoal here, if I was special, which he did go Torkoal. Like, if I was special, I'd probably 2 kill this thing with a fire move, but... I want to flame charge up first, uh, just to get a speed, just in case he had, like, foul play or something. Magmar is actually decently fast, so I think it's 313 speed. That did a nice chunk. That did actually a nice chunk. Alright, so you know what? I have an Violet, I'm going right for Belly Drum. I do not care. I'm going right for Belly Drum right now. It is time. Torkoal's a giant threat. I expect him to go for rocks. Uh, I want to get some damage. I'm trying to get some big damage off. I wish you could drop Drake. Can you guys see my shirt? I'm going to see if I can stand up a little bit. I have a, my Drop a Draco shirt on. Clean. The OG. The OG Drop a Draco shirt. So he actually switches out his Torkoal. And goes out into Charizard. And this is amazing because now I am plus one speed. I hope he's not Scarf. If he is Scarf, I hope he's Modest Scarf. I really hope he's Modest Scarf. I really, really, really hope he's Modest Scarf. Because I'm going to take him with a Thunder Punch right now. We're about to get a KO. I pray this boy is Modest Scarf. I pray. So he might have been, um, no, he's Timid Scarf. Crap. All right, so that's not that good. I lose my Magmar automatically to a Timid Scarf uh, Charizard. Uh, now I kind of wish he didn't have a Torkoal. I'm not going to lie. I kind of do wish he didn't have a Torkoal. It's fine, though. We can get an Aurorus. We can get an Aurorus, and I think what we have to do is actually double. 
I don't think he would stay in. I think he would go out into uh, Torkoal now. And I really want to just make the offensive play and double. I think it is my uh, my best play. Uh, because if he doesn't go Torko, I can hit. Uh, I can spam Psychic versus that with my Kadabra. And that's exactly what I'm going to go out into. If I want to win this game, it has to be with Malamar. So I have to weaken that Torkoal. I absolutely have to weaken that Torkoal. I don't think he would sack this. Alternatively, what I could do is go for Rocks. And what Rocks do is they pressure the... Uh, they pressure the spin from Torkoal. So Torkoal would go for spin. Yeah, so he's going to switch out. Nice. So at least I can, instead of making the all-out aggressive play, I get up my rocks, which pressure Torkoal as well as everything on his team. And once I set up that Aurora Veil, man, we're going to be good to go. Once I set up that Aurora Veil, we're going to be good to go. I love how Galate is down here, by the way. Galate is actually down here. So this is a giant threat to me. I don't really have much to switch in. I'm actually just going to go right out into Lorantis. I really want to get up Aurora Veil. I'm not sure if, if he actually ever goes Torkoal, it'll be bad for me. But we're going to go Lorantis because we do need my Hail around. This is kind of a weather war. Uh, sun versus Hail, obviously. So, nice little knockoff. That's fine. I can just start spamming Leaf Storms if he wants to knock me out. That did a lot, too. I have no idea what item that is. That might be a Z. That could be a, that could be a Choice Scarf. I don't know. But either way, we're just going to go right for Leaf Storm here. It's going to do a decent a chunk to anything, especially with Rocks up. Charizard's not going to really be appreciating switching into this. And the fact that uh, and the fact that if he does go Torkoal and I do have Contrary, it will be boosting me. Plus, Torkoal will be taking Stealth Rock damage. So, all in all, good for me is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so I think Torkoal will actually be 2 KO'd. I'm not entirely sure. And he actually pow uh, powers up my Hidden Power Fire as well. I'm praying this boy's 2 KO'd. Ooh, that looks close. That looks pretty close. I'm not going to lie. So he can spin or knock me out. If he actually chooses the rapids, if he does choose to knock me out, I get in my Auroras. I get the kill with Blizzard. And I get the hail up. And I keep my rocks up. So, nice. We landed second leaf store. Let's go, Lorantis. Show me this KO. Show me this KO. Let's go. All right. So the Weather Wars run. Torkoal is gone. Torkoal is completely gone. And my rocks are here to stay. And I think my weather might be here to stay too. So Malamar is looking... Pretty nice right now. What a nice name. Okay. Uh, so this can definitely knock me out with Sludge Bomb I, or Weather Ball. I don't want to switch directly into my Roars because I do have my Focus Sash and I want to keep it intact. We're just going to go for Hidden Power Fire. Do as much damage as possible. Hopefully, uh, if he chooses to go for Growth or something, he obviously can't put me to sleep because I am, you know, a Grass type and whatnot. Can't put me to sleep with Sleep Powder. Uh, he actually tries to predict me to switch out. And I'm going to be able to get the KO on Victory Bell. So great. Great, 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 great turn for me. Amazing turn for me. I couldn't have asked for a better turn. Actually, a better turn for me would have been my opponent's, like, Charizard coming out and deciding to switch out and then bring it back in again and just pretty much die in a Stealth Rock. Just stay die in a Stealth Rock. But that might have been a better turn. Anyway, uh, the Alolan Raichu comes out. Now, I had no reason not to click Hidden Power Fire. It's boosted by the sun. I'm plus four. Uh, I don't want to miss Leaf Storm and have him sub Nasty Plot up. Plus, Psychic should be able to knock me out anyway. The Lorantis is pretty bulky. Lorantis is pretty bulky, so I might have been able to live that if it, this is not Life Orb. I'm not sure, though. Either way, I, uh, I go right out to Aurora's here. Get up my nice little hail. And all I need is a few hail turns to be able to go to work with my Malamar. That is all I need to be able to go to work with my Malamar. Actually, all I need. Or maybe even just win the game with... Because uh, if I actually look at my opponent's team... I love that there's, I don't need team preview because I can actually look at this. I'll show you guys right now, but you can actually look at the DS bottom. Shout out to the DS. Hmm. Why well, doesn't show me what's going? Obviously, it's Victory Bell and Torkoal. Anyway, going for a Blizzard because no Ice Resist left on his team. I can take one Psychic. Uh, Galate, if it comes out, it will be 2 a KO. Uh, the, the Persian should be 2 a KO as well. Actually, I might be able to win this game. With, because he sacks Persian here, I might actually be able to win this game without Malamar and potentially with, uh, potentially just with Sand Slash. I might just be able to win the game with Sand Slash, especially because he's going to be able to knock me out right here. Or he actually parting shots, so whatever's coming in is going to be taking a decent chunk. Whatever comes in is going to get hit, and I do have enough hail turns left, especially if it is, like let's say it's Galade that comes in now. I do have enough hail turns left to actually put in some work, so... Goes Gallade. Uh, Gallade takes the necessary damage for Iron Head to be able to knock it out for my Sand Slash, so that's something I could definitely go for. Though my hail turns are very limited as of right now. 
Ah, oh, and I get in a freeze. Oh my gosh. Shout out to my boy A Drive. I get an annoying freeze on my opponent. Uh, though I do want to make my best possible play, which is still switching out. I should still have Kadabra alive as well. I think I want to go with Kadabra because if he does stall, he'll go for close combat. I'll probably die away anyway if it's Choice Band, regardless. Um, and I do threaten with a Dazzling Gleam, which also happens to hit Persian. If he is Z parting shot on Persian, this freeze might not matter as much. And this is also turn number four of Hail, so Hail will be ending. So I want to keep my mod alive. So I'm not going to stay in and try and Blizzard just because I froze him. And yeah, he thawed automatically, so. That boy is straight up Choice Band. Kadabra just dropped, guys. Kadabra actually just dropped. That is actually amazing. So, this is the final turn of Hail, which means I can go right off to Sand Slash, take advantage of that, and just click Iron Head. Iron Head will be able to knock him out. Yeah, take pure advantage of this. Iron Head will be able to knock him out. It also knocks out um, Raichu. It should knock out Charizard or 2 KO it, and it should also knock out Persian. So, we take advantage of this Hail. We go right for this Iron Head. He's minus one delayed. Uh, if he switches out to whatever, something like Charizard takes Stealth Rock damage. I can see him going charge right here. Unfortunately, I do not have Ice for Crash. Uh, but he does opt to go out to the Persian, so nice. We don't have to worry about like a random Z parting shot, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, we can just knock him out. Nice. So we're going to get the KO with the Iron Head. I love how the freeze actually didn't end up mattering. I love how Kadabra also just straight up died. Like, what is a resist? What is actually a resist? So Raichu comes out. Why is my Hail not done? Oh, it's five turns. What, what am I thinking? This isn't Tailwind. So I am faster than everything but a Scarf Raichu. I'll just click Earthquake here. If he doubles out, going to Charizard, he does make the double out to Charizard. Very good play on my opponent's part. But like I said, I was faster than everything bar Scarf Raichu. And Charizard coming in means that it won't be able to come in ever again. So very good double on my opponent's part. But Hail does end. And all I got to do is sack my Aurora's here, bring in Sand Slash, set up the Aurora Veil, and then go for game with Malamar. So I'm going to do exactly what I just said. I'm going right out. This is also solar power, not blaze. So my hail isn't actually going to be working against me here. It is going to be helping me. And the fact that he has just those Pokemon left, like with the Aurora Veil, with the Happy Hour, with the Sewer Power, we'll be able to do some damage. And of course, if you guys actually do like this type of thing, uh, face cam live battles, of course, Showdown Lives will always be there. Don't worry. Showdown Lives will always be there. I'm always going to be doing them, especially alongside. Uh, just let me know. Because your support is greatly appreciated. And of course, you can hit that like button or subscribe if you're new to this channel. So, go for Focus Blast. Surprised he didn't go for Fire Blast. Uh, but I guess he wants to do more damage to Aurora's anyway. Uh, so, we're we'll just click Bruiser here. I kind of hope he hits because I want to set up on this guy. Please hit. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Like I said, I do want to set up on him with the. Uh, I do want to set up on him with the Aurora Veil. And also the fact that Choice Scarf Charizard is just slightly slower than. Uh, just a few points slower than my uh, Sand Slash. So, uh, because I am Jolly, and we can just set up the Aurora Veil, and then we can go around to Malamar, set up the Z Happy Hour, do our little do our little dance crap thing, whatever this Mon does, and uh, just win. So, hit this Aurora Veil, or hit this, hit this attack. Or maybe Sand Slash can just win in itself. I don't know. Maybe it'll live. This is four times effective, though. Nice little, that looks beautiful. Damn. That actually looks great. He had three focus blasts in a row, by the way. But this is actually the perfect opportunity for me to set up. And I died. Perfect. So we got the veil up. Blast Mon Malamar in the back is actually about a clean. I love it. And he's locked in a focus blast, too. I might even get on out of here without taking any damage at all. So we're going to go right out to Malamar, set up that Z Happy Hour, and hopefully win. Am I not shiny? I think I'm supposed to be shiny. My bad. I might have messed up. This thing is supposed to be shiny. Is it shiny? I don't think it's shiny. He hit 4 out of 4 Focus Blast, Jesus. Let's see if he can hit 5th one, because he's actually going to be faster than me, too. It's funny, because if he actually got a Spadef drop there, which is, you know, you don't typically see the, the secondary effect of Focus Blast, since you either hit it and get your kill, or miss it and complain. Um, it would have actually boosted my special defense just due to the, uh, just due to the fact that I, uh, um, what was I going to say? Just due to the fact that I do have Contrary. So, nice, we even get a Super Power here. And get a secondary defense boost. Or an attack raise as well. This may hit every single focus blast. I'm actually impressed. I've hit 8 of 8 before, but 
On Wi-Fi, I've never seen him hit him. So that's pretty cool. But get a nice little boost over here. And my Malamar is now boosted and everything. Shout out to the contrary Malamar coming through. This is what I like to see. Charizard was Choice Scarf. Now, he very well could be Choice Scarf Raikou as well. Uh, Raichu as well, excuse me. I don't know. I don't really know the damage. And I haven't really seen what it attacked outside of... Uh... This doesn't beat me. Aurora Veil is up. Let me see this. Yeah, if you guys want to actually see my Malamar stats, I'll put them real quick. As you can see, Malamar does have boosted everything. Ah, nice Normalium Z. Amazing. So I'll knock this guy out with the uh, the knockoff right here. 100% accurate. Don't have to worry about it. We are faster. Malamar is going to be able to get that kill. And like I did say at Team Preview, though, uh, this was a PU battle, even though Torkoal wasn't necessarily PU. And that was Choice Man, obviously. Kadabra just died. I had no... I mean, it's Kadabra. It doesn't really have good defenses anyway. But shout out to the Aurora Veil. And I really did like how this game went. Though I did lose my Magmar turn 2. I found out great information that his Charizard was Choice Scarf, which did allow me to outplay, or play around it, rather. So, we can go for knockoff here and get the next KO. It was indeed Choice Scarf Raichu, but it didn't do enough. Maybe, I think if he had Volt Switch, what he sh should have probably done was try and Volt Switch crit me into Galade as I knocked it out with knockoff and then tried Thunderbolt. Basically, it would have given him two opportunities to try and knock me out, but we end up winning that battle. A really, really, really narrow 1-0 with Malamar putting in the work, which is exactly what I wanted to do. So I'm actually pretty happy about that. Of course, if you guys did enjoy, feel free to leave a like, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think about these Wi-Fi battles. I will be doing them, I'm not going to say daily, but I'm going to try and do as many as a week as I can. And uh, I will just be doing them live. So again, I hope you guys all did enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends. Have a good one. And shout out to BRTTAR as well for the team.